Hi everyone, my name is Hector Garcia and I want to show you a couple of quick tips. Uh, number one, let me show you how to print multiple checks in batch. So for example, I'll click on the quick create button here, then I will go down to check and then I'll just create a regular check to any vendor that I have here, select the category, select the amount and then, and then you will see here on the right hand side, there's a little checkbox that says print later. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that little checkbox. You will notice that the check number will now say to print. That's actually a good sign. That means that this check um, hasn't been assigned a check number yet. And when you print it, it will be assigned a check number. I'm going to go ahead and click save and new just to kind of show you with another check so we can see multiple. So I'll click on that one, select my category, select the amount. And then by default, because this is the uh, last option that we chose print later that will be chosen there so if I was writing a manual check I would just unclick uh, print later put my manual check number but if I'm printing checks you want to go ahead and make sure that print later is checked and then I'm going to go ahead and click uh, save and close and then uh, when I'm back in the home page here if I wanted to print multiple checks in batch I would click on the create button the quick create button in the top of the screen then I will go down to print checks. I'll click on print checks. Then it's going to ask me what type of checks you're printing. So depending whether you have the voucher check or the standard check, you would have to make that choice. So let's say, for example, I have a voucher check and I'll click on, yes, I'm finished with the setup. And then I'll click again on the click create button and then go to print checks. Then all the checks that I have here pending to print, they're going to show in here. At this point, I can unmark manually the ones that I don't want. If, I, if this list is really big and I want to get rid of some of these, I would just select the ones that I want to get rid of and then I'll click on remove from list. That's not what we're doing now, but that's how you would get rid of uh, multiple checks that are listed there. So I'm going to go ahead and select both checks that I want to print. And then here where it says starting check number, I'm actually going to get the check number from the blank paper stock that I have and then I'll put it here so then um, I'll start with 1001 then naturally the check under the other one would be 1002 so I will print on each check in sequence then I'll click on preview and print it's going to give me sort of a PDF preview of what that, that is going to look like including the stuff that's going to print on the on the stubs and then I'll click on print Okay, select my printer, save as PDF, whatever I want to do, and then I'll click on print. Now, to print invoices in batch is a whole nother story. Um, so for example, I'm going to go here to the create button, and then under customers, I'm going to go ahead and click on invoice. And then I'll create a, a quick invoice here for a customer for uh, the item of concrete, and I'll put here $500. And then right down here where it says print preview, I'm going to click on that and then there's a little checkbox here that says print later. That's key, right? That that little checkbox has to be there. If I actually go ahead and just print the invoice, uh, that print later checks uh, goes away. So that little check mark, um, it's essential for when you don't actually print the invoice and you do want to print it later. So make sure that that little checkbox that says print later is there. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, uh, save a new, and then I'm gonna create another invoice just to show you an example. I'll do another invoice here, and then I'll pick an item here at random, and I'll put a value, and then I'm gonna click on the print preview button, and then make sure that that print later uh, little checkbox is there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on <clears throat> save and close. Now, unlike printing checks in batch, uh, there's no button here that says uh, print invoices in batch that is not available it, here in the gearbox it's not available either this is actually a feature that you kind of have to uh, look for and search in order to to find it so let me show you how you can print uh, all those invoices marked to be print later in batch so we're going to click on the transactions button on the left navigation bar and then we're going to click on sales okay that is going to take us to this screen that's going to show us all the transactions that are uh, related to sales. So an invoice, a sales receipt, payments, this sort of thing. So down here where it says filter, I'm going to go ahead and click on filter. And then where it says type, I'm going to click on all transactions and change that to invoices because that's 
that's really what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to uh, do invoices. So I'll click on invoices. And then here was a status um, open paid. That's so up to you if you want to print paid or unpaid invoices as a choice that you have there as well. And then right here where it says delivery method, that's the key. Uh, so it says print later or send later. So I'm going to go ahead and click on print later. And then I can choose the date range if I want to limit it or whatever. Um, so I don't have to uh, limit the date range. I can just uh, select all dates and just do every single invoice that is marked to be uh, printed later. And I can also filter the specific customer or group of customers that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. And that's going to limit this to only the invoices that are marked to be printed later. So this is actually kind of uh, quite a few. Let me just double check. So type needs to be invoices, delivery method, uh, print later, and then we'll click on apply. Okay. So that will narrow it down to just the invoices that needed to be printed later. So now that I want to print them, I have a couple of choices. One, I can just click on the action button there and, and click on print. And that would only pretty much send me to print one invoice. Okay. Um, or I can select multiple here. So I can just uh, shift click to click several or just click on the ones that I want. And then here where it says batch actions, that's the key button right there. Batch actions, I'm going to click on uh, print transactions. Okay. And uh, whatever act uh, transactions I selected there, it will all get bundled into like one big uh, PDF that I can either save or uh, print all in one shot. I could also, assuming this is all a bunch of invoices to one customer that are a bunch of invoices marked to be printed later, that this is another way that we can uh, create one PDF file with every single invoice that's available for that client. So let me give you that example. So I'm going to go into filters. I click reset. That way there's nothing there. I'm going to click on all transactions and click on invoices. And then where's the status? I'm going to go ahead and click on open. And then under customer, I'll pick one of these customers. Let's say this first one, Amy Sanctuary. And I'll click on apply. That is going to give me every single open invoice for Amy. So I'm going to select all by clicking on this little box here. And then I click on batch actions. And I'll click on print transactions. And this is going to create one PDF that contains all of the open invoices. And at this point, I could just save the PDF if I wanted to, right? Depending on how uh, your computer <coughs> manages PDFs, you, you should be able to just save the PDF or you can print them all in batch. The last part here is how to send multiple invoices marked to be emailed. Okay. So I'm going to click on the recent transactions button here in the top right here, and then I'll click on an invoice. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark it send later. Now it's very important that we actually have uh, an email for the client for this to work. Without an email, this won't work. But I'm going to go ahead and put my client's email address there, and then I'll click on send later. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And then I'll click on my recent transactions button again. And then I'll pick a, a different invoice. Doesn't matter which one, really. I'll pick this invoice. And then I'll mark this one send later as well. So we have uh, multiple invoices that we're batching to be emailed all in one shot. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close. And again, there's no button up here that says send a bunch of invoices in batch. So we have to follow the same principles. Click on the transactions tab on the left side, then click on sales. Then where it says filter, we're going to go ahead and click on type. We'll click on whatever transaction type we want. So let's say it's an invoice. So we'll click on invoice. And then where it says delivery method, we'll click there, send later. Okay, that's the key. We'll do send later. And then we'll hit apply. And then uh, all of the invoices marked to be sent later will be here. So let's say I want to email all this in batch. I'll click on the select all button, which is that little square on the top. And then I'll click on batch actions. And then I'll click on send transactions. And I'll go ahead and click on that. Then basically all of those are going to be emailed in one shot to the client. Now, another um, area that people get a little bit confused about, especially when it comes to printing checks, is this little button here. So. If I was to select all these transactions here and I click on that little printer icon, what that will do is print a list of transactions, not necessarily print each transaction in detail. So that's that's the function that people ask me all the time. You know, how come when I click on the print button, it doesn't print the invoices? It's because it prints this list. And again, if I wanted to print those invoices, I would, assuming these are all marked uh, to be printed, I would click on here, batch actions, print transactions. Thank you.